Today I gave my first writing test of fall 2020. Definitely nervous. We're only two weeks into the school year. Plus, distance learning is a totally different type of modality. Um, but like always, the students made me so, so proud. We used the VST outline process, adapted for distance learning, of course. And this was for my IB History HL Year 1 course, which is a junior level course. Um, but this would work for, for any class. So these are the objectives uh, from IB that I was really focusing on. The big ones were, are they able to explain their understanding of the content um, and create arguments through analysis? And then top answers are going to pull in historiography, different perspectives. So this was a group test because it was the first one. So I wanted students to have that support and also to encourage them conti to continue to have that discourse and collaboration as they complete things. So this was the first set of directions. I'll go ahead and go over it with the actual slide up. So this is VST outline and this template plus more are available on my teachers pay teachers. So the point of this slide is to give them an overview of what they'll be doing. So here's the question. The very first thing they have to do is break down the prompt using VST. The V stands for verb, the S stands for skill, the definition of the verb, and then T are going to be the keywords for them from the prompt to make sure they're staying relevant to what it's asking. So words like significant, reasons, US, imperial power, and then down here, they would go ahead and give their overall answer to the question. What is the big reason why the US is going to go ahead and become an imperial power? We've been talking about a lot of different themes, and so they would have to go ahead and pull from one of those. And because this is the first test, plus writing's really hard, um, I went ahead and provided them main ideas. So that way, again, I could connect back to my actual objectives of can they explain and articulate, articulate the content? Now, this is a lot to get to, so I just kind of want to show what the work we've been doing to get here. So I've been doing interactive textbooks instead of using the typical note taking style. So it has interactive questions. They have to paraphrase vocabulary. I have lots of drag and drops involved, um, historiographical perspectives and so on and so forth. And then at the end of every single interactive textbook is a VST outline practice where I want to see their attempt. And then before class, I review their attempts. And then I point out some things that went well, some things that could be better so that way they, they have that practice in. So next up, we get to the actual part where they take the test. So after they have the big overview, they then are going to go through and really develop this essay outline. So this is what they had to do for each main idea. Um, again, the, the big emphasis for me was can they explain the content? So I went ahead and provided them the evidences. I provided them more than what they needed. And they had to use their historical minds to figure out which is the most effective evidence, most relevant evidence that should go in here. This is a drag and drop. So they can just go ahead and drag and drop in. Um, to make drag and drops, what I do is create the initial slides and then I screenshot them and upload them to a different Google Slides. That way students don't accidentally edit the um, template itself. And then I add on layers of text boxes in order for them to type in their responses. I also let them know that they could go ahead and edit these a little bit, delete them, add in different evidence they thought might be more relevant, or they could combine. Um, and always keeping in mind, am I actually answering my question? And am I supporting the big theme that I clarified before? Um, also, I added in um, a distractor to each of the evidences of something that was actually the opposite of what they were looking for um, as a way to really help them discern the importance of evidence selection. So here's an example of my students' work from today. Um, I still have to go through and grade them, but overall I am very proud of the responses that they gave. And then they would do the same for main idea number two and then main idea number three. Finally, I closed out with show what you know to brain dump all the things that they know about the content that didn't show up on the test. This way they're critically thinking about what they do know about the topic. Um, and then it helps me to see what they're feeling confident about, maybe what they're not bringing up that they need to be bringing up. And then I go ahead and compile a master list of all of the things that they said that they know so that way I can share it with them. Um, so this was the first test. I think it went pretty well. Um, very proud of my students. If you have any questions, please let me know.